Hello everyone. So today we are going to uh, do a new experiment on tunnel diode characteristics. And here we will try to draw the characteristics of a tunnel diode. Tunnel diode is a special type of diode where <coughs> we see a different type of IV characteristics from normal uh, diodes. We will talk about that later on. So before uh, talking about this thing, so this is the apparatus we are going to use. It's a very simple apparatus you can see. So here you can see two digital panels, one and two, two panels. And these two are the voltmeters, V1 and V2. And these two are going to measure the voltage actually. <clears throat> this V1 will uh, actually measure the voltage drop across the R3 this is 33 ohm here and the V2 is going to measure the voltage across the voltage drop across the tunnel diode. This is the uh, schematic diagram of our tunnel diode as you can see and this is the circuit as a whole. We have a 5 volt DC and this is the R1 the 10 turn port it actually moves 10 times than a normal port because it's, it gives you a very fine change of current and voltage <coughs> okay so the voltage across the R3 as we have already said it will be measured by V1 and from the voltage if we divide by R3 we are going to get the current of the circuit and here also the voltage drop across the voltmeter we are going to use it from the V2 so this is a very simple uh, setup and you can do it by just putting this knobs because you are going to measure the voltage across R3 so this setup is ready so if you change your you can actually see there is a change of V1 as you are changing the potentiometer and here if you put this voltmeter across the diode then you are going to get the V2 as well. So from this you can see that if you change, if I move this port, it's the R1, it will change the voltage in V1 and V2 as well. So we have to note this V1 and V2 in every steps and this is the only reading we have to take and uh, the other thing is actually a very simple calculation because we have to divide the v1 by r3 to get the i of this <coughs> circuit so you can see there is a table given and you get the v2 v2 is the uh, voltage across the tunnel diode v1 is the uh, voltage across r3 so itd means the current in this tunnel diode which is flowing is calculated by v1 by 33 ohm so it's in milliampere and the rtd means the uh, resistance of the tunnel diode one can actually calculate by uh, dividing V2 by this I. So that's a very simple uh, way of taking the uh, reading. We will provide a set of reading we have already taken so that you can actually calculate <coughs> or and then you can plot the data and when you plot you are going to see something like this this is a voltage volt ampere characteristics of a tunnel diode 
and you can see that it starts from a very small value and it gets a peak value at certain peak value of a current at certain value of VP is called peak voltage and called peak current and then it starts to fall again and it reaches something called VV where you get IV which is the minimum it is called the valley voltage and the valley current and then again it starts raising so from this valley voltage uh, and it, it just behaves like a normal dial but before that there <coughs> from this this point within this uh, Gaussian type curve point which it is not actually Gaussian but it just a close resemblance of that that's why I'm calling it. so here the tunneling phenomena which is a very purely quantum mechanical phenomena takes place and for that you get a IV characteristics like that and you can see that V from VP to VV there is a drop of IV to IP to IV so you can see that the differential resistance is actually dV by Ti is negative here so this part within this part the system <coughs> has a negative resistance dynamic resistance so I square R is going to be negative that means it works as a source of it produces a source means energy so this is very interesting fact about tunnel lab and the experiment is extremely simple as you can see again uh, and once we give you the data you can verify by yourself uh, this thing is actually taking place and why this is happening why this tunneling phenomena is taking place that is actually a um, thing of discussion and uh, we can provide uh, that part Thank you.